life must be free. Full is the earth of the superfluous, marred is life by the many too many. May they be decoyed out of this life by the and squad, life eternal and squad, and squad, the yellow ones and squad, so are called the creatures of death, or the creatures of death, and squad, the 45, black one, and squad, but I will show them unto you in other colors besides. The terrible ones who carry about in themselves the beast of prey and have no choice except lust for self laceration. And even their lust for self laceration. They have not yet become men, those terrible ones. May they preach the distance from life and pass away themselves. They born when they begin to die, and long for doctrines of elasticity and renunciation. They will remain be dead, and we should approve of their wish. Let us beware of awakening those dead ones, and of damaging those living coffins. They mean an invalid, or an old man, or a horse, and I am immediately they say. They only are refuted, and their eye, which sees only one aspect of existence. Proud and full melancholy, and eager for the little casualty to bring death, thus do they wait and cleanse their teeth. Or else, they grasp at sweetmeats, and mock at their childishness thereby. They cling to their straw of life, and mock at their still clinging to it. Their wisdom speaketh thus, and quoth, a fool, he who remaineth alive, but so far are we fools. And that is the foolishest thing, in life, and quoth, and quoth, life is only suffering and quoth, so say others, and lie not. Then see to it that ye see, see to it that the life ceases which is only suffering. And let this be the teaching of your virtue, and plot, thou shalt slay thyself. Thou shalt steal away from thyself, and plot. 46. Thus spake Zarathustra, and plot, lust of sin, and plot. So say to who preach them, and plot, let us go apart and beget no children. And quad, giving birth is troublesome, and quad. And quad, pity is necessary, and quad. Say others and quad, I still give birth. One bereaves only the unfortunate, and quad, and they also are creatures of death. So says a third party, and quad, take what I have. Take what I am, so much less does life find me, and what? Were they consistently pitiful, then would they make their neighbors sick of life. To be wicked that would be their true goodness. But they want to be rid of life. What care they if they bind others still faster with their chains and gifts? And he also, to whom life is rough labor and disquiet, are ye not very tired of life? Are ye not very ripe for the sermon of death? All ye to whom rough labor is dear, and the rapid, new, and strange yep it up with yourselves badly, your diligence is flight, and the will to self-forgetfulness. If ye believe more in life, then would ye devote yourselves less to the momentary. But for waiting, ye have not enough of capacity in you nor even for idling. Everywhere resoundeth the voices of those who preach death, and the earth is full of those to whom death has to be. Preach. For in God, life eternal in God, it is all the same to me if only they pass I wait. Thus spake Zarathustra. War and warriors. 10. War and warriors. 47. By our best enemies we 
do not want to be spared, nor by those either whom we love from the very heart. So let me tell you the truth, my brethren in war, I love you from the very heart. I am, and vast ever, your counterpart, and I am also your best enemy. So let me tell you the truth, I know the hatred and envy of your heart. We are not great. be those whose eyes ever seek for an enemy for your enemy. And with some of you there is hatred at first sight. Your enemy shall ye see, your war shall ye wage, and for the sake of your thoughts. And when your thoughts become, your uprightness shall still shout triumph thereby. Ye shall love peace as a means to do wars and the short peace more than the long. which hallowed even more. I say unto you, it is the good war which halloweth every cause. War and courage have done more he at things than charity. Not your sympathy, but your bravery hath hitherto saved the victim. And quad, what is good? And quad, ye ask, to be brave is good. Let the little girls say, and cross, to be good is what is pretty, and at the same time touching. And cross, they call you heartless, but your heart is true, and I love the bashfulness of your goodwill. You are ashamed of your slow, and others are ashamed of their ebb. We are ugly. Well then, my brethren, take the sublime about you, the mantle of the ugly. And when your soul becometh great, then doth it become haughty, and in your sublimity there is wickedness. I know you, in wickedness the haughty man and the weak man, but they misunderstand one another. I know you, ye shall only have enemies to be hated, but not enemies to be despised. You must be proud of your enemies, then, the successes of your enemies are also your successes. Resistance that is the distinction of the slave. Let your distinction be obedient. Let your commanding itself be obeyed. And quad, I, will, and quad, king, to the good warrior soundeth and quad, thou shalt and quad, pleasant man. And all that is near unto you, ye shall first have it commanded unto you. Let your love to life be unto your highest hope, and let your highest hope be the highest thought of life. Your highest thought, however, ye shall have it commanded unto you by me, and it is this, man is something that is to be. W-I-D-O-L 49 you Live your life of obedience and of war What matter about long life? What warrior wishes to be spared? I spare you not, I gain you from my very heart, my brethren in war. Thus spake Zarathustra. Flash flash dot, the new idol. Somewhere there are still peoples and birds. 
but not with us, my brethren, dear her state. A state? What is that? Well, open now your ears unto me, for now will I say unto you my word concerning the death of peoples. A state is called the coldest of all cold monsters. He sees it also, and this life creep has from its mouth. And quoth, I, the state, am the people. And quoth, it is a lie. Creators were they who created people, and hung a faith and a love over them. Thus they serve life. Destroyers are they who lay snares for men. And call it a state. They hang a sword and a hundred cravings over them. Where there is still a people, there the state is not understood, but hated as the evil lie, and is sin against laws and customs. This sign I give unto you. Every people speak at this land gate of good and evil, this its neighbor understandeth not. Its language hath it devised for itself in laws and customs. But the state means in all languages of good and evil, and whatever it saith of Jesus, and whatever it hath it hath stolen. Zero, thus spake Zarathustra. False is everything in it. to you a sign of the state. Verily, the ill to death, indicateth this sign. Verily, it beckoneth unto the creatures of death. Many too many are born, for the superfluous ones with the state devise. See just how it enticed them to it, the many too many. How it swalloweth and cheweth and reacheweth them. And God, on earth there is nothing greater than I, it is I who am the regulating finger of God. Thus roareth the monster, and not only the long ear and short sighted fall upon their knees. Ah, even in your ears, ye great souls, it whispereth its gloomy lies. Ah, it findeth out the rich hearts which willingly lavish themselves. It findeth you out too, ye conquerors of the old God. Weary ye became of the conflict, and now your weary is serveth the new idol. Heroes and honorable ones, it would fain set up around it, the new idol. Gladly it basketh in the sunshine of good consciences, the cold monster. Everything will it be if ye worship it, the new idol, thus it turns to the luster of your virtue, and the glance of to your proud eyes. It seeketh to allure by means of you, the many too many days, a hellish artifice hath here been devised, and then forth jingling with the trappings of divine honor. Yea, a dying for many been devised, was here glorifies itself as life, verily, a hearty service unto all the creatures of death. The snake, I call it, where all are poison drinkers, the good, the new idol, the parent one, and the bad, the state, where all lose themselves, the good and the bad, the state, where the slow suicide of all is called. Life and plot. Now see these superfluous ones. They steal the works of the inventors and the treasures of the wise. Culture, they call their theft and everything becometh sickness and trouble unto them. Just see these superfluous ones. Sick are they always. They vomit their bile and call it a newspaper. They devour one another, and cannot even digest themselves. Just see these superfluous ones. Wealth they admire and become poor thereby. Power they seek for, and above all, the lever of power, much money 
see these impotent ones. See them clamber, these nipple apes. They clamber over one another, and thus thrust them into the mud and the abyss. Towards the throne they all strive. It is their madness in this. Happiness sat on the throne. Oft times sitteth built on the throne. And oft times also the throne on filth. Madness and they all seem to me, and clambering apes, and too eager. Badly smelleth their idol to me, the cold monster. Badly they all smell to me, these idolaters. My brethren, will ye suffocate in the fumes of their maws and appetites? Better break the windows and jump into the open air. Pull out of the way of the bad odor. Withdraw from the idolatry of the superfluous. Go out of the way of the bad odor. Withdraw from the steam of these human sacrifices. Open still remaineth the earth for great souls. Emptier still many sites for lone ones and plain ones, around which voice and the odor of tranquil seas. FHFR carrot life for great so. 1. Carry. Verse 8. 52. Thus spake to Arathustra. Who possesses little is so much the less possessed. Must it be moderate poverty? There, where the state sees it, their only comments of the man who is not superfluous. Their comments in the song of the necessary one, a single and irreplaceable melody. There, where the state ceaseth pray with thither, my brethren, do ye not see it, the rainbow and the bridges of the Superman? Thus spake Zarathustra. Well, the flies in the marketplace. Flee, my friend, into thy solitude. I see thee deafened with the noise of the great men, and stung all over with the stings of the little one. Admirably divorced and not know how to be silent with thee. Resemble again the tree which thou lovest. One silently and attentively it overhangeth the sea. Where solitude endeth, there begin then the marketplace. And where the marketplace begin then, there begin then also the noise of the great actors and the buzzing of the poison flies. In the world, even the best things are worthless without those who represent them. Those representers, the people call great men. Little do the people understand what is grief that is to say. 